to it. Dan's game. All right, hey guys, new video here. Um, at updated Atlas strategy for what I'm doing this far into the league. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm going for 100. My only goal is to get level 100 on this character, right? And I wanna have fun, most importantly, while doing that. So what I'm doing is I have swapped over from before on the previous video, I was doing burial chambers. And burial chambers was like really nice, dropped a couple doctors there, whatever. But um, overall, I, I still didn't really like the layout. I didn't like how there's like the middle passages, kind of like on Tropical Island, where it slows down your Esh stacks on certain builds and uh, uh, slows down your Headhunter stacks and stuff. So more open layouts, more monsters is always always feels nice. So what I was doing, I was doing Toxic Sewers, but I've moved over to Haunted Mansions. Because Haunted Mansions, it feels like a lot of monsters and it's super fun for me and if I run double beyond to get to 100 or not double beyond single beyond on every map so Zana four chows per map beyond um, on every map to get to 100 a little bit faster um, this is nice because of the pack density means more beyond spawns and more monsters means obviously more beyond spawns again um, so that's really nice now the downside of this map is uh, the boss is in a separate room and boss has like two phases right which can be annoying for um, for certain builds, maybe if you don't have good gear or, you know, your damage might be not there yet, right? And so, um, doing Haunted Mansion, so what I've done is I have shaped this with a Tier 5 Shaper's Orb. So this is originally a Tier 5. I've updated to a Tier 10, and I'm using two Sextants right here. I think this one hits as well. You can use, like, these two as well if you want. It doesn't really matter. I think this one, maybe? Does that even hit? I don't know if, I don't know if that one hits, but uh, you, get the, you get the idea, right? Um, so, two Sextants. Um, adds like probably what 100 mobs or something like that if you get the the monster ones really nice and so how you want to do this and this is a, a strategy for any tier map the map you want to sustain and uh, keep running over and over in that tier it should be your only map so haunted mansion is my only tier 10 you can look on your atlas here uh, or you can besides filtering that you can go to your maps tab go to tier 10 and mouse over them. You see how like when I mouse over this, it says Atlas bonus complete and um, obviously this is my only shaped one, but you mouse over every single one and look, none of them say Atlas bonus complete and that's how you know you did it correctly. But um, also you might wanna check here as well because Atlas bonus complete means that the map has given you plus one here. But sometimes if you kill the boss and it's not like a rare one, you can still unlock the map to drop, okay? So make sure you you, um, you check on here, to, it, it, just to be safe, okay? So, once this is the only one in that tier, you want to do the map plus one tier. You don't want, you want to clear all of those. Um, so, those are the tier 11. So, if you look here, if you look at all my tier 11s, I don't have, I don't have a single tier 11 completed on my atlas, right? Because um, if it drops plus one, then it downgrades to a, a haunted mansion. So that is completely clear. And tier 12 and above is all complete. Tier 1 through tier 9 is all complete. And tier 12, you might be like, well, tier 12 can drop from the boss, right? So like you can get um, maps that aren't Haunted Man. Yeah, but it's like so it's rare enough where it won't affect your sustain, okay? So you don't need to, to complete or you don't need to clear out your um, your X plus 2 maps, okay, that you want to run. So that's not a big deal. Um, yeah, once again, that's that's the strategy for for any uh, tier map, right? You want to run X map, you you complete tier one through X minus one, and then you clear out X plus one that entire tier. Don't have any of them, and then um, X plus two and above, you do all of them, okay? And so that'll be really easy to sustain. Um, I have a lot of them. I'll show you right here. Where's my um, where's my Luigi's Mansion? See, and I, I vault all of mine too, right? So look at this. I just have so many. And I just barely got started. So in you know in a week's time, I'll have like you know hundreds and hundreds, like two quad tabs full of these probably. And another thing about um, what I'm doing to sustain is so I'm volling every single map, and I'll show you. I'll, I guess I'll go over a little bit how I roll my maps. So what I first do, uh, party invite by the way, uh, is I put all of them into the tab. So what I'll do is like let's say you have dump tabs, right? Like well, my, I just cleaned mine out. So if you look at my dump tabs here. I have um, I have nothing in them, but when your dump tabs are full, you go in, you t you search for let's say like ha haunted mansion, right? And you take out all of them and place every single haunted mansion you have into a uh, quad tab, and I'll have like probably 120, 130, 
And then if I have the chisels, I'll chisel them all. If not, with tier 10 and below, it like doesn't even matter. You don't have to chisel, but then I ouch every single one of them. See, so if I filter by rare, they're all rare, no matter what. Always ouch me because you'll get more than the ouch me in return. After I've done that, I will filter for the ones I cannot do. Now, obviously, I pre-rolled all of these, so these are all good, but um, I don't look for pack size. I don't look for quantity, rarity, any of that nonsense. All I do is I'll take the map and I take out the ones I can't do. For me, that's cannot regen, right? As you can see, there's none. But let's say that you can't do reflect for some reason, right? So you search for uh, reflect and you you would do this. You take out the ones that you cannot do once again, and you can either scour them or you can wait for the reflect sextant if you want. Um, and then you can run those or you can just like put them away once again. Once you're sustaining, you won't care about a few maps that got bricked, okay? And then so after you either re-roll or put them away, you know, put the good ones back in if you re-rolled. And um, after that, I will vault everything. So as you can see, if I search by corrupted, um, every single one of these is corrupted. Okay, I, I don't run apps that aren't corrupted anymore. Well, not I'll, I'll run maps that aren't corrupted if it's beyond because if you corrupt, you can, you have a chance of completely re-rolling the map. Uh, and with beyond, obviously you want like either no change corrupted or you want unidentified, right? But those are, it's more likely going to change the map. So um, I'll take those. So actually, let me let me redo it. After I roll everything, I'll search for beyond. And as you can see, these have beyond, right? So I will go ahead and like take these over here and like run these with maybe some sack frags or just some extra juice for fun. Okay. And so that's my strategy there. Okay. Let's go back. Um, took a little detour there, but let's go back. So I don't search for, uh, once again, pack size, rarity, any of that stuff. After that, um, I will go ahead and I'll vault everything. So corrupted, everything's there. And then you have to make sure to do another filter because if you corrupt and it changes the map, it could have a mod that you don't want to run again right because it could completely reroll the map so um important thing now is like let's say you couldn't do reflect before you will search for reflect after you vault all the maps okay and um another thing to note is that if a map is unid here's my unid maps if you vault a map and it goes unid it does not change the roles it had before it only like basically makes it so you can't you can't see the mods that you had before. But as long as you filtered before you vault, let's say it was a map you can run before, it will always be that exact same map after you vault. Okay, important note. So I know a lot of people are worried about unid, like oh, what if it has a scary mod? Uh, it won't have a scary mod as long as you filter beforehand. Okay, and that's how I run it. And then um, the reason that I do that is because like um, on average you'll get m more juice than the vol is worth. Let's say a vol is um vol orb is worth one chows okay and if you look at some of these uh map device mods right like uh you know you're paying like you know four three chows let's just take away the actual league mechanic let's just say you're paying two chows for 20 percent quality right because two chows is uh four chisels and four chisels is 20 percent quality well if you look at some of these that you get like Look at this one, monster pack size, 40, uh, quantity, 127. And so basically you're paying the the two uh, chows to get like sometimes 20% pack size and like 50 quantity in something. And you got to ask yourself, okay, is that worth it on the map to hit? And the answer is yes. And then sometimes you get an ID, which is even more juice in there. And there's even a section that adds to that more juice with like pack size and quantity for unid maps. So uh, on average, I believe that uh, like, look at this one, 41, 127, whereas, like, the default is 2070, right? 2070 is, like, just any Alchingo map on average. So, you add so much, look at this, you add so much juice to the map, you add more monsters, right? So, more chances of drops. And this is anecdotal, but I do feel like I get way more big drops um, since I've been vaulting. Uh, I get more um, pure exalt drops and stuff like that. Um, which is natural for doubling the pack size roll and um, and increasing the quantity, right? Doubling the pack size roll sometimes, not all the time, okay? Sometimes it doesn't change and sometimes it will brick your map, but sometimes it will plus one your map and the plus one maps, as you can see here, um, these are totally fine to run because they're a shape version. So remember when I said you don't want to complete any tier 11s when you're running tier 10s? Well, this doesn't matter because it's a tier 11, but it's a shape version. So the base map is still way down there in your outlet. So it will not affect anything. And that's really nice. And then you can get higher tier maps to either sell or you can get more of your tier 10. It's really easy. So whales, uh, whale orbs are real, real important to me okay it adds more monsters to the maps which adds more fun to me right who cares about the quantity if it adds more monsters that should be like that should be like way more fun right 
And um, that's that's my mindset when it comes to following. I know it's kind of hard because like you're like, oh man, if I roll 100 rats, I gotta buy 100 whale orbs. You'll make it back um, for sure. Okay, trust me on that. And so very worth it. But you don't have to if you don't want to. This is all stuff that's just personal preference. Try out whatever you want. Um, I don't run any Zaba mods right now. When I hit like 96, 97, 98 maybe, I'm going to think about running Beyond on every single map. I'll just dump all my currency that I make into getting 100. And that'll be 4 Whale Orbs and 4 Chalice Orbs into every map for Beyond. But it does add a significant amount of XP, so I think it's worth it. So that's my Atlas strategy. I don't think I'll change it around too much. The one, one thing that I might do is when I stock up, let's say I stock up 200 Haunted Mansions... Um, and I somehow complete Zaba's Memory Fragment quest to get three sextants. Um, you know, I, I might bounce, bet I might test out some other stuff, right? I might bounce between Haunted Mansions. I might go back to Sewers. I might try Channies with three sextants if I can, maybe. But that's like way later. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll ever do the Zaba's quest. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have questions, you can ask below. Okay. Bye, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye. All right, that was it. I'll export that to YouTube. Uh, 